And in today's video, Motorola Edge 30 Ultra, I can see box is eco-friendly. <laughs> Listen, if, if I'm paying insane amount of money, like a thousand bucks for any smartphone, I'm hoping for the great visual experience. This isn't. This is an eco-friendly packaging, which looks like a toilet paper. I'm serious. Um, maybe it will be it will be good for some uh, medium-range smartphones, uh, inexpensive ones like 300 bucks, 200 bucks. But a thousand bucks, you want that experience. You want that unboxing, flashy uh, um, box. Okay, I still don't like the, the box. It's not a premium experience. But let's uh, forget about the box. We have a very nice cover, which is included, of course, and it's uh, that's the thing which I like. Not too many smartphones has cover included. Manual. Glossy manual, read me. I want to read that. And a fancy SIM card tool. Well, it's fancy. Well, look at it. I think it's fancy. Now, that's the smartphone itself. Let's leave it aside for. Oh, let's check the oh, those accessories. Not a great experience. Remember that box. Charger. Well, that's a charger. I mean, it is heavy. And a USB Type C cable, regular one. That, that, that is it. Wow, look at that. Wow, wow, it feels premium. And, I'm and I mean premium, nice. I think the camera is the same camera which you can find in the Xiaomi 12T Pro, 200 megapixel camera with uh, optical image stabilization. I think this lens has optical. I don't know about the main one, but this one definitely has, has it, I already see it, anyway. Dolby Atmos logo. Microphone, what's on this side? Buttons, very tiny buttons and very sharp. Oh, this one has that surface. So, you, so your finger will recognize that that's the power button, not the volume button. Why are they so close to each other? I, I take too close. Too close to each other, that's why maybe they have that. It has a different surface. Very high. Look, I won't be able to reach volume button, like, like this. Power button is fine, but volume, oh, too high. Anyway, speaker, USB Type-C, SIM card tray, and nothing on, the, on this side. Ooh, but it screams premium. Nice. Quite heavy. Very heavy, I must say. Oh. Hello, Moto. No copyright sound. Okay, it's recognizing very nicely. And let's, uh, let's fire something. Wow. Otherwise, it's clean. Pretty loud and clean. I like 
I really like that sound quality. Now we can see this smooth experience. Now the camera, of course, we need to check the camera. All right. Wow. Looks sharp. What, what, what's going on with the autofocus? I probably need to update the firmware. Got to do that later on. Uh, in the video department. Okay, let's not do full. Oh, 8K. We can go 8K. Wow. That's cool. In 4K. Why I don't have uh, what? It, what's what's that? Okay, let's go for four K. This is front facing camera in four K. But mind, this smartphone is more for the macro pictures and videos than for the telephoto and wide angle. Now, watch my full camera view, then. Uh, it's a separate video, then you will understand what, what, what am I talking about. Now let's go back to photos. It is a definitely smartphone focused on the on the macro macro department. If you're in the market for a smartphone with a good macro photo and video, that's the smartphone for you. There you go. Bear in mind, this is just an unboxing experience and first impression. So full review coming soon. Well, quite hard very narrow those buttons are way too high yeah. oh and it has a very nice build quality and speakers that's all i have thanks for watching and wait for the full review coming soon maybe tomorrow maybe in in, in monday yeah so two days from now thanks for watching see you bye